Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Cocos 2DX version 4 on your Mac so you can create applications for the Mac. If you want to do it for iOS, Android, or on the Windows platform, or on Linux, feel free to check out my other videos. I'll have all of that stuff covered. So, version 4 on Mac for Mac using, you know, using the Xcode IDE. That's what we'll be setting it up with. Okay, so first of all, make sure you've downloaded xcode you can do that by going to the app store it is a free download i think it's like eight gig currently so it takes a bit of time and uh, just click the install button that'll be here and that's it just wait patiently and the other thing is what i would recommend once it's installed open it you'll probably download and install some components that can take a bit of time as well once that's done you can leave it open or shut it down doesn't matter but it's just the initial first time setup next what we need to do is actually download a couple of things using our browser first of all go to cocos.com and i'll provide a link to this in the description and go to products cocos 2dx and version 4 whatever the latest version is when you're watching it click download and this will start downloading and i'm going to click cancel because i've already got it downloaded we also need homebrew which you can get from brew.sh this is just a package manager which will allow us to easily install so copy that and this will allow us to easily install cmake which we will need for building our i mean creating our project so now you want to find terminal so just launch that up paste the huge line that you put there press enter press enter again you will download and install it it might ask you to confirm some stuff just confirm the stuff it's gonna be very quick for me because i've already downloaded it before and i've updated it before the video this can take a bit of time so just be patient but luckily this is just the first time you know set up afterwards you don't have to do the xcode or the whole you know the c make stuff again and again now that's actually installed you need to type in brew space install cmake this will allow us to actually install cmake again it will probably take a bit of time for you but because i've already done this step before and it is all up to date it will be done in a few seconds so that's it there we go it is already done and we can minimize this for now next what you want to do is go to where you downloaded your cocos 2dx you know file to i placed it in applications in a folder called development that's where i like to keep my development stuff and to unzip it just double click it it will start unzipping shouldn't take long just a few seconds or so and once that's done we'll get this folder i'm going to rename it just so it's cocos 2d x this just so it's easier in terms of updating it and not thinking it's an old version now we need to run the setup.py file launch up terminal again and cd and which just changes directory to the cocos 2dx folder and now run setup.py so dot four slash setup.py click enter click enter those two things for android which we do not need currently and copy that so just copy this without the quotation paste it here click enter that is quick and now if i just type in cocos if you get something like this and no error that means cocos is correctly installed and we can actually you know go about our business and uh, actually one last this is a very optional line there was an xcode error i was having none there wasn't an xcode error there was an error actually I'll, I'll run this command in a in a second that was about a run i'm going to clear this i'm going to create the project now by cd into the desktop and i always just get a file and just get rid of that so it just saves the desktop directory and enter to create the project put cocos new then the game name which is going to be cocos test for me dash l which is the language so cpp or js you know c plus plus or javascript and dash p which is the package name optional 
and you can change this later but it's just easy if you know your package name at the start and I'm gonna do co cocos test okay click enter it will start creating our project right there and I'm not gonna close this down so if you want to create more projects this is where you want to continue so the rest of the setup you don't need to redo you just need to continue from this cocos new and you can create a new project uh, now in here in older versions if you would have got to the iOS Mac you would have got a Xcode file that you could have opened they don't include the project files anymore so that's something we have to build ourselves you can build it for Xcode or something else I'm going to choose Xcode so we want to CD to this Mac folder now what we need to do is run CMake which is right here and put CMake dot dot forward slash dot dot the two dots take us back one directory and then we have another two dots after a forward slash that takes us back another directory so it's going to produce the files in this directory but run it from there and put space 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 dash g x code like so click enter and this will start building our stuff so this is where an error sometimes occurs doesn't look like it's going to occur now but I'll tell you what the error is and how to fix it okay so if an error occurs something like regarding a CPP compiler you know something about CMake or CPP compiler it's actually easy really easy to fix the error but sudo because we've already installed Xcode another thing is make sure you launch up Xcode when you install it once you've installed it you're downloading and install some components you can shut it down then but it's just initially you know for the setup and you just put sudo xcode dash select no space yet no space dash dash reset click enter you'll ask you for the password of your user on the mac because we put sudo which is super user do uh, so just put in your password so that is good to go so you might see a little bit of flicker in the video there that's just because that command actually shut down my recording software but you know I'll, I'll edit it so you shouldn't really notice it okay so now we can actually close this down because we got the xcode project file here that last little line was only if you get the error so double click that launch up xcode and in here what you want to do is go to this click it and select your project so wherever your project name was so cocos test and then your mac and now we can click play and this will start compiling our project the 524 initial files to compile this will take a bit of time but luckily once you've compiled it once it will only compile the modified or new files every time you go to run the project so it won't take this long you know subsequently it's just the initial first test run and um, yeah we are literally almost there now assuming this does not fail ignore the warnings i'm sure some of you are going to have questions about them they're just warnings based on the cocos 2dx framework and that is up to them to fix these warnings nothing for us to worry about halfway almost halfway yeah i'm gonna pass off in terms of the number of files still going still going okay so just got to compile another 150 or so files there's a hundred more Okay, so all the files have been now compiled. It should just wrap this up and launch up our project.
que... Okay, build succeeded. Great. And we should launch up any moment now. There we go. First the project launched. And I'll click this power button down or shutting down from here. This is just the default project. And the code files are in your project. We can ignore you know all of this stuff. They're in your project name and source files. Classes, they're all there. And resources, you would put them all here. There's some like you know the background images, some stuff already there, but that's where you would put all of your stuff. And to confirm or to demonstrate that if I make a change, it will be a lot quicker. So instead of saying hello world, I'm gonna make it say hello world XYZ. Now if I click run, it's just gonna compile files that have been changed and It'll run it really quickly there we go says so hello world xyz and it has now finished so that is how you set up cocos 2dx version 4 on a mac for mac development like i said i'll have stuff for android ios windows linux all that cool stuff if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video